Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is April 21st. So on the agenda, we have um, GSOC update, She Code Africa, if there's any update there, Mark. There is. Uh, great. Uh, CDCon, Scale 19X, and DevOps World. Um, anything else that we should add to the agenda? Uh, oh, governance board decision on the, uh, so yes, new topic at the very bottom, governance decision on um, Ukraine, on the war in Ukraine and how we express it there. Okay. So yesterday's governance meeting made it, came to a decision and we'll, we'll go ahead and make that so within the next day or two. Okay. And this is the image on um, Jenkins.io. Exactly. Right. All right. Okay. So um, GSOC update application period ended April 19. We are currently in the mentoring, uh, mentor grading period. We're not grading mentors, but we're grading proposals. And um, that started yesterday. So we're expecting to end that period on. Um, sorry, April 30th. I thought I'm in May. April 30th. That's where we are at at the moment. Do you have any questions there for me, Mark? No, I, I've got, I've got to do the grading. So I'm one of the graders, right? Who's, who's reviewing the proposals. Uh, we did actually have, I guess I've got a separate topic there for you. Uh, Diraj joined the, the, uh, GSOC office hours earlier today, Europe time, and had a question about eligibility, a question about eligibility that I think is best handled by him having a discussion with the, with the org admins. So you and Chris Stern and uh, John Mark Mason. Okay. And just be aware that he's got a question. And I, I said, yeah, we really, he can't, we can't give him an answer until next week because John Mark's at a conference this week and unavailable. Okay. So he's okay waiting. He has no problem waiting. He understands that. He just wants to be sure that he has a chance to talk with the three of you about it and understand your opinion and how you feel. Okay. I, I appreciate his, um, his um, excitement. And all right, so we'll see. Great. Um, okay, so She Code Africa Contributhon. Yeah, so we are... We've completed the community bonding period. Mm -hmm. We are now in the project. So we're, we completed the two weeks of community bonding. We're in the four week period of doing the actual work. And, and we're trying to help these new contributors get started, get involved. The community bonding didn't go quite as fast as I think I would have liked. Mm -hmm. And meaning, meaning we didn't get as much done during community bonding mm -hmm. as I would have liked. Part of that is we just didn't have enough mentors. Part of it was I didn't schedule enough meetings during community bonding to assure that they would get started and be motivated to report in every day or every other day. So for next year, we'll probably do community bonding meetings every two or three days. Okay. And it was just, it was a, it's a little slower start than than we had last year. And, and the last year it was a super fast start because we had no community bonding period whatsoever. And so we had to be very, very fast to get started. And this year we thought, oh, the community bonding will make it easier. But as it turns out, uh, it wasn't as easy as I might've hoped. Okay. There are three projects running. The three projects that are running are Pipeline Help. Uh, Pipeline Help is something like last year's project. So pipeline help is one, mm -hmm. screenshot updates is the other. And this one is because Jenkins UI has been through major changes in the last several releases and is still going through some really exciting changes. We need to update the screenshots on Jenkins.io. And then the third project is, oh dear, pipeline help, screenshot update. I should I remember, I, I get, I, that's uh, that's okay. I'm sure I can, I can add it later. I, I oh, think I've, I have it down I've here got somewhere. It. I've got it absolutely in all my notes. It's lots of places. Just a minute. 
I just have to look really quite carefully. It's an old age thing. Sorry about that. So pipeline help, screenshot updates, and inclusive naming, of course. Oh, yes. How yes. yes. Right. Yes. Talk about embarrassing to so and the inclusive naming one. And so inclusive naming, that's getting rid of the the potentially offensive verbiage in Jenkins documentation and online help words like master and slave and whitelist and blacklist that the project has decided need to be replaced by more inclusive terms like controller and agent. So, so those three projects, and I'm actually excited about all three of them. I think we've got potential to get benefit from all of them. And these contributors in Africa are certainly getting introduced to open source as part of it. Excellent. Yeah, we can definitely use the help in, in all of those areas. Yeah, and, and that's it for me on She Code Africa contribute on. Okay, thank you, Mark. Um, so with regards to CDCon, so the Contributor Summit, the Jenkins Contributor Summit is now on their website, on CDF's website. We are confirmed for Thursday, June 9th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, there is a fee, as I mentioned um, previously, $15. I did bring this up with CDF. And they said that the reason for this was to, um, to, to discourage the no-shows. And that makes um, sense. That's, so it's a token fee. It's very, very inexpensive. It's well below the cost of running the event. Right. It's just by paying a little bit, we persuade them, oh, I should be there. That makes right, sense. Right. And if we do get a lot of pushback um, within the community about this, and we can definitely um, address this with CDF. They're, they're totally yeah. open. Great. Um, I am awaiting for them to confirm about whether um, contributors summit attendees needs to pay for the main conference um, as well. So I'm waiting to hear back from them on that aspect. However, I have started um, a planning document and it's very, it's very, very uh, draft in draft mode right now. I mean, very beginning. So I'm filling it up as I get more information, but I think what we can do is what I plan to do is um, go back and see what we've done in last year's Contributor Summit. We typically have uh, project updates or um, updates from like events, security, things like that. So we'll we'll start that, and then we will open it up to you know um, breakout sessions and such. But I will initiate the discussion on um, discourse on our community page, and open this up for input and ideas and suggestions. Excellent. Hi, yeah. And, and there's, if you look on Jenkins.io, you'll find, you should find links to the yep. past contributor summit agendas. So we absolutely do want a project update section yep. locally presented. So we know it will include documentation and platform because I'll be there. It'll include events because you'll be there. Mm -hmm. And, and then others, we may, we may choose to act as proxies for others, depending on who's there. For instance, if Tim Jacome is able to attend, we may ask for a report from the release officer. Yeah, Great. definitely. I will get those added. Uh, okay, so that's it for the, uh, con the Jenkins Contributor Summit on CDCon, at CDCon. And mm -hmm. then the next item is scale. So that is slated for end of July. It, they're moving the event from Pasadena to LA. I'm not too excited about that because traffic in LA is horrific. Uh, so I am waiting for the organizers to confirm our exhibit table. Um, things has changed since they have moved location in Pasadena, it was easy for us to get table. So now this, this event is taking place inside a hotel. I'm thinking that might cost a lot more money. Ah, uh, okay. So, and yeah. and that I, I assume they'll tell us right yes. what they're doing, how that's working, and they'll guide us on. Hey, we we can you have to do this or not do that, etc. Okay. Right, right. 
So um, we'll probably, we'll, we will forego the pipeline training at scale this year, Mark, okay. um, because I'm not sure about the attendance level. Um, so let's, let's just have a presence there uh, via an, a table. And I also saw that Kosuke is going to be speaking at the conference as well. So that would be nice to catch up with him. That will be great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, DevOps World. So the event CFP is open and the submission will stay open until May 12th. The plan for, for Jenkins at DevOps World is that we will do the, 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 the things that we've done in the past with regards to in-person events at DevOps World. So we will have a, an all-day contributor summit before the main conference days. We will have um, a contributor appreciation event in the evening. We will have our usual booth space with Ask the Experts and lightning talks at the booth. Um, yeah, and then many, many, we're expecting a lot of Jenkins talks at, um, at the conference this year as well. So Excellent. that's the plan. And that is taking place in Orlando, Florida. Uh, what else? And then I will start a discussion on this um, um, in our community channel as well. Governance decision on the Ukraine image on Jenkins.io, Mark. Yeah, so we discussed it yesterday. We had three of the five board members in attendance. Mm -hmm. And after a two week, an over two week voting period, the voting was slightly in favor of the, the Jenkins image with the open eyes and the flag stop the war rather than the Cossack image. So we're going to go ahead and merge that one. Uh, I admit it was a, only slightly in favor, but it was slightly in favor. There were a few more votes for the, the Jenkins image than for the Cossack image. Okay. And so my sense was it's better that we get the message there, uh, stop the war, than it is that we worry about whether or not it's a Cossack image or, or the butler. I agree. Great. I agree. So. Yeah. So I've taken that as yes. And what I'll probably do is mark John is adjust the setting on John Mark's um, John Mark's pull request so that it's no longer draft mm -hmm. close one of the one that's the Cossack image and ask, I think I want to ask Ksenia if we can use insert her Cossack image into the artwork collection uh, so that we don't lose the image because I think the image is a wonderful piece of work yeah. It's just not the one that we're ready to do yet. Okay. I can take the, the action item to reach out to her on that. Oh, that would be great. So You'd be okay? willing to do that? Oh, yes. yes. That would be a great help. Okay. All righty. That's it. That's all that I had. Thanks, Alyssa. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, Bruno, wait a second. Oh, Bruno. Oh. Yep, I'm there. I'm oh, there. very nice. You Just are here. Should we yeah, stop well, the recording, Mark? Or um, no? that you we are welcome to stop the recording or just have Bruno introduce himself live oh. on the recording. Oh, let's oh, do really? that. <laughs> Bruno, do you do you want to be recorded as you introduce yourselves or you want to late wait till later? Oh, maybe do it later if you don't mind. I even don't have my camera on. I can't get into work today with Zoom. <laughs>